Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to substantially increase the speed and performance of your computer by cleaning up your hard drive. Now this is very important because your hard drive essentially is one of the most important things on your computer. It stores all your permanent information, especially your operating system which allows your computer to run. Now it also stores programs which you may not need. These programs will basically drag your hard drive and slow it down. So think of it as when you're walking in the street and you're carrying a bunch of things in your hands, you're pushing things, it's going to slow you down as opposed to not walking or carrying anything. It's the same thing with your hard drive. It's being slowed down by having to run all these programs which are not necessary to run. Now the best way to start to clean your hard drive out is to go to Microsoft's hard drive cleaning option. Now you go to start, control panel, then you go to system and maintenance, scroll down and under administrative tools you'll see free up disk space. Click on that, a box will come up, choose files from all users on this computer, give it permission to continue. It does this usually in Windows Vista. Now it's calculating how much you can free and it's basically going to look for things that you don't need. Now here's the results. These are, these are the things that it found that it determines you don't need. Now Microsoft basically only looks for stuff that they consider stuff that aren't serious files like systems files that you must have to run your operating system. Those are files you never want to touch. Now these are files that they determine that you just don't need. Now you should look through this list carefully. There may be something here that you don't want to get rid of such as recycle bin. So you see it's unchecked because you don't want to get rid of your recycle bin. So just look through all this stuff. Anything that you don't see familiar to you, you may want to check it. And as you check things off, it's going to continue the total. So now it's 225 megabytes. They already check some stuff that's a default, like temporary internet files and stuff like this that you want to get rid of. So as you check these things off, this was a very big one here at 1.93 gigabytes. It's going to continue to add to the total. And that's all you have to do. And as you click on these things, it's going to start to add to the total. And then you just go to OK. And after you go to OK, it's going to proceed to clean this stuff out. And that's all you have to do with that. Now the next thing I recommend you do is to go to Start, Control Panel, and go to Uninstall a Program. Now these are the programs that you have on your computer. Now if you see anything here that you don't want, a program that is familiar to you and you don't want it, I'd recommend that you click on it. I mean here I have over three gigabytes of programs. I don't have a lot of them. But think about it. If you have a small hard drive like a 40 or 50 gig hard drive, let's say you have a laptop or a netbook which usually have smaller hard drives than desktops, you may have stuff there that's really clogging your system up and you want to get rid of. So just click on anything that you don't want that's familiar to you and just get rid of it. If something's unfamiliar to you, don't touch it because it may be a systems file so you don't want to mess around with that. That's another way to clean your hard drive out. One of the best ways is that I recommend is things that you don't even know or realize which are really eating up hard drive space, such as video. If you have videos on your computer, an average video or movie can take up five, six hundred megabytes. And if you have a lot of them, it could really take up a lot of space. It could really drown your hard drive out and really slow things down. So click on your files where you know where you store your videos, such as what I have here, videos, and even MP3s that you don't need. And basically, what I recommend you do is save them on a DVD or a CD and just put them somewhere in a safe place and you can always watch them over again. And that's the best way to store them because DVDs are cheap, they're small, you can store them anywhere. And it's better to clean your hard drive space off. And if you want to watch these things, just load them back into your DVD drive and you can watch them again. That's my recommendation because those things can really take up a lot of hard disk space. So there are a few other things that you can look at, such as my documents. You may have some photos, a lot of them, or some other stuff that you just want to get rid of that's on there. And even the little things, they start to add up. If you get rid of them, it'll clean up your hard disk. And like I said, you can always create data disks such as CDs and save this stuff on there. 
there are a lot of ways that you can use a lot of things that you can use for storage just to get it off your system and you can always put it back on and watch it again but it's better to have it externally and off your hard disk and if you do all these things you'll just notice a huge difference if, especially if you have a smaller hard drive and if you're taking up let's say over 50 percent of your disk space and then you get rid of all this stuff you're gonna see a real difference a real change in your systems speed and performance so there you go how to substantially speed up the performance of your computer by cleaning up your hard drive I hope you found this video useful to you please rate comment and subscribe to this video and thank you for tuning in